Hey guys, so I will be featuring four uh, vlogs. I'm doing a recap on them. I'm pointing out why they are important to me and why I want to do more of them. So the first one that I want to get into is going to be the coffee socials. The coffee socials is myself along with a few sisters and we sit around and we basically just have a good time while drinking coffee. Um, so during this time you'll see all types of things. It's just like little snippets I like to capture and put it together to kind of get a gist of our interaction amongst each other. Um, these sisters are really a super, like, I don't even know what to say. These sisters are amazing. And um, I feel like this is a great addition for my channel because you get to see us having a ton of fun. And it's always a laugh. It's always a party. It's always a celebration. So I want to bring that constant celebration, that constant laugh and good times to my vlog. Number four. Now in this vlog, it's really just me talking on camera. Um, I feel like every once in a while it's good to just get my thoughts out and just say, you know, how I feel. Um, I'm pinpointing this particular one um, in specific because it was just me in front of the camera, nothing extra. But the difference between the coffee social and this vlog was the coffee social was so corny. Like, I'm not even gonna lie. It was super, super corny with the sound effects and things like that. And vlog number four, you start to get a more, like, genuine feel of myself. Like, who I am, how I am when I'm not around others. Just me being alone. It's kind of raw because it's just me speaking to the camera the way I talk. Um, so I definitely want to have moments like this so that you all could really get to know me in the sense of me behind the scenes type thing. Um, this vlog was also really important because it's when I kind of like broadcast it to the world that I battled depression. And um, as you'll see from this vlog, it was like something I kind of like literally battled myself with. Like, should I, I'm going to delete this. No, I'm not going to tell them. Yeah, I'm going to tell them. And like with putting this out to the world, I did like open myself to like some weird feedback. Like, you know, if people asking me, how are you doing mentally? Like things like that. Or instead of just thinking, you know, something bothered me, everyone wants to attribute certain moods or behaviors to my depression and that can get annoying but that's when I opened myself to when I let you all in and let you all know about my depression. I also think this is an important vlog because no one should be ashamed or feel embarrassed of their depression. Um, if you do then you won't get the help that you may need and then the person will go through it longer. Um, my friends have been very accepting of me battling with depression. I am very blessed to say that in my group of friends, whether it's in the state or out of the state, I'm not the only one that battled through it. So a lot of times I can reach out to them and ask them what do they think or how they're going through things or things like that. It's like I have people that understand that depression is just not, oh, you're sad. Like, no, I'm not sad. Um, it's just, it could be simply complicated but just to say oh you're sad all the time just doesn't um like accurately display what's going on with a depressed person so yeah I definitely want to highlight this video for for those reasons um because I was able to come out of my what do you say closet about it um and I also also definitely want to give um or say that, you know, mental illness is it shouldn't it shouldn't be anything you should be ashamed of. Um, and I learned this from working in the mental health field for as many years as I as I have and I love it. So yes, I have a mental illness and no I'm not ashamed of it. If you, if that's what you wanna call it. Sister Deborah's book launch. Um, I will be posting down below. Um, a link so that you can go and buy the book. The book is amazing. 
I have just started reading it, so I'm not spilling any tea anyway. But I do want to say it is an amazing book. Um, I'm just starting it, so once again, I am going to link that down below because I would like for you all to read it with me so that we can have, like, I don't know, book socials and talk about um, the different characters or the different themes throughout the book. It is truly amazing. I wanted to also highlight this vlog because in this vlog is where I started to I had a cover, um, like a thumbtack, a thumbnail, so I had did that. Um, in there I had different types of footage, so I had footage mixed with videos and then I had pictures and things like that. Um, around this time is when I was also suggested to not do any more transitions, but just to do jump cuts, so I did learn that. Um, during this time I was able to meet a lot of people. Um, I met a dope sister that did art, I met a dope sister that does um, lemonade, and then her mom also does healthy pads. So once again, I will be linking all of these items down below um, so that you all can take advantage of it, especially the book. Um, a lot of this vlog was mainly just us having a really good time. So once again, I was with the Nassers. And I had a really good time. It was a large group of us. And yeah, it was just like really amazing. Like I really, I have to highlight this vlog because it was like a freaking blast. It was amazing. Um, you got to see different forms of art, whether it was spoken word for myself or whether it was art done by different artists. Um, got to gather around with other females and just promote yourself. So that was definitely a blast. That's why I definitely want to make this one of my top vlogs because it was so fun. Um, looking back on this vlog, there was a lot that I could have done differently and could have done better. Um, so I just want to highlight those. Like having all those images back to back, I think I should have broke those up with videos um, from throughout the day because there's videos. I definitely would have made the theme a little bit like made the theme like the red background go further throughout um however I do like the pictures that I've taken um they were clear you can see everything but I would have done a couple of things differently and censor expressions um is one of the vlogs that I'm pinpointing to do a recap on um this was a different type of vlog for me in this vlog I try to increase no or should I say I try to let you all feel the moment without me telling you about the moment so in this vlog I've done something differently I use live um, camage footage um, a lot of people have been asking me about this camera so I am going to link the camera down below um, so that you could watch your possessions or just checking on your home or just checking on someone. This is a really great camera and it's um, really affordable. So I'm, I'm going to link that down below. But this vlog, what I done was I tried to allow you all to feel what I felt in a sense, but to also give you a positive message throughout it. So I showed the live footage and I just added text. And the text, the live footage... You're going to feel my emotion already, which wasn't positive. It was scared, fearful, all of these things, like all of these emotions is what you feel by watching a video. But I tried to break the video up with positive feedback um, because I wanted to give you all a sense of, yes, this was a very bad moment for me. However, this is what I learned from it. I do like this type of vlog because I feel like it does increase how dramatic it is. I feel like it does engage the audience um, with word and with video. So I think it's really important that every once in a while I do do this type of vlog again. Um, so that it's it gives me a time to like feel tell you how I feel but you're reading it so you're able to read it in your tone and you can kind of use your emotion behind it opposed to me giving you the emotion more so I really can't complain it but yes um that was definitely 
a vlog that took me a long time to do um and it was posted right after my daddy's day vlog so that was super crazy as well um i was really like scared like should i put out there you know the live footage and everything and i was just like yeah like i want to be a vlogger i have to be transparent and this is a part of being transparent and being a vlogger so i was just like okay um i really did like this video a lot um my godmom did share this video on her Facebook page. So to me, that tells me that the content was good. She told me it was a good video. So being that this was the first video, to my knowledge, that has been shared and has been told to me that it was good content, I definitely want to do that more often. Not maybe so much, but more often. Um, because I definitely want to give you all what you all like, if that makes sense. So this was just like a little recap of vlogs that I felt was very important to mention. Um, and I highlighted a few areas of why it was very important to mention. Um, it took me a while to do this one because I couldn't figure out what angle I wanted to come from. If I wanted to be talking to the camera or just a voiceover. So yeah, let me know what you all think. Um, let me know what was your favorite vlogs. Um, let me know what's your favorite part about any one of those vlogs. Just kind of connect with me so I can kind of see what I can do to become better in my content. But I'm not losing myself in a sense, if you get what I mean. So just let me know, guys, down below.